Hello and welcome back to WePC. Now season 5 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Warzone is now live. Four new maps join the Modern Warfare roster including two normal multiplayer maps, one gunfight map and one ground war map, as well as a huge update to the ever popular Warzone. So let's get into all of that fresh new content. In multiplayer we see four new maps, Suldal Harbour and Petrov Oil Rig are your medium sized 6v6 maps, Verdansk International Airport is the new Ground War 32 vs 32 map situated in Warzone's terminal location and Livestock is the newest 2v2 gunfight map. The new Battle Pass weapons being introduced are the ISO SMG unlocked at tier 15 and the AN94 Assault Rifle unlocked at tier 31, both of which can be unlocked for free by playing the game. The Battle Pass as usual introduces various unlockable skins. My personal favourite is the Honcho Yegor skin just because of that incredibly interesting haircut. At tier 100, players unlock operator missions to unlock the Rook skin, the company's might assault rifle Lima skin, the Veil helicopter skin, and that ever so unspecial emblem to show your friends that you did indeed reach tier 100 and wasted valuable hours of your life. If you choose to purchase the battle pass then you will instantly gain access to the behemoth and archangel shadow company skins as well as some funky rock juggernaut vehicle sounds. Speaking of which, Warzone also sees new updates finally. It's been so long since we've seen any valuable updates to Warzone and we now see a moving train that circles part of the map. You are able to board this train and rain down on your enemies with RPGs and force them to throw their controllers in rage. That could just be me though. The lid has also finally been lifted off of Stadium after months and months of conspiracy theories going round, giving players access to the sought after location finally. Inside the Stadium you have multiple vantage points to outmaneuver your enemy and will lead to some interesting final circles. You also now have juggernaut drops in regular game modes now, allowing you to become a literal walking bullet sponge and will most definitely only be fun if it is you inside of that suit. How did he get me, dude? Oh my He's coming. god. No! <laughs> We also see mastery challenges as well as various Warzone map updates. This includes the train station interior, exterior ascenders, stadium and that stupid moving train. And finally, both Modern Warfare and Warzone have seen playlists available, but more importantly, the Mini Royale Trios mode in Warzone, which condenses and speeds up the Battle Royale process into much quicker matches for much more carnage. This game mode speeds up the circle closing in and will allow your enemies to stop camping at the top of prison with a sniper rifle and instead have to be constantly on the move. So this is your very, very quick update on what is coming in Season 5 for Warzone and Modern Warfare. We are very excited ourselves to jump into the Warzone and see how annoying that train and juggernauts is because all I'm going to be able to see is four juggernauts on top of that train knowing I'm not going to be able to stop them and pretty much accept my inevitable death. As always guys if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful at all we would love if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload and we'll see you in the next one.